Dennis Rodman, aka The Worm, is famous for his fierce rebounding and defensive play. However, the Hall of Famer is also known for being the bad boy. He wasn't only a bad boy because he played for Bad Boy Detroit, it was more for the notorious moments associated with him. Here are some of the craziest moments from Dennis Rodman's life that you might not know about. Dennis Rodman posing nude for an animal rights group. We'd have questioned this statement if it was someone else, but it's Dennis Rodman, and posing nude falls right in his line. The former NBA star said no to clothes for a PETA ad. In the ad, people People could see Rodman showing off all his tattoos, while the profile of the ad says, Think ink, not mink. Be comfortable in your own skin, and let animals keep theirs. Rodman's fans know that Dennis Rodman was famous for his excessive use of animal fur clothing, but the worm says he is against animal cruelty and has got a completely different perspective after he watched a PETA video. He added that he isn't ashamed of showing his body either. The ad's billboard was displayed in New York and Hollywood back in 2005. However, the billboard was covered by tents when displayed at the invitation-only designer show in New York. Here's why Rodman actually agreed to appear in that PETA ad naked. Before the PETA ad, Dennis Rodman had met Dan Matthews, the vice president of PETA, at a nightclub in Miami where they talked about their organizations. For those who don't know, Rodman also runs an organization for homeless people called the Dennis Rodman Foundation. During this discussion, Matthews mentioned how PETA donated thousands of fur coats to homeless people. This was when Rodman's association with PETA started, and it went so well that he even stripped off his clothes for their ad. What is Dennis Rodman's CNN controversy? The worm even figured out a way to show up at politics-specific national channels. In 2014, Dennis Rodman made headlines after his unintelligible meltdown during a CNN interview. Rodman's trip to North Korea along with six other retired professional basketball players for a game against the North Korean team for the dictator Kim Jong-un's 31st birthday had everyone questioning this friendship, this being the reason. The anchor asked Rodman about his relationship with Kim Jong-un. He also asked whether there was a chance that Rodman would bring up the discussion about Kenneth Bay's imprisonment with his close friend Kim Jong-un. Kenneth Bay was a Korean-American evangelical Christian missionary who was accused of overthrowing the North Korean government and was detained in 2012. However, the worm was not really happy with the question. Rodman's reaction to the question was quite weird and questionable. He had a meltdown and went off on an intoxicated tirade. His comments about Kenneth Bay were also quite disturbing, as he implied that Kenneth got the punishment for his own faults. When the anchor counter-questioned Rodman and asked what he thought Kenneth did to draw the attention of Yong Ying officialdom towards him, Rodman started muttering defensive phrases about not being a shill. Even though Rodman later apologized for his behavior, we still can't understand why he had to act like that on a show that airs internationally. Dennis Rodman married himself? We might not know everything about Rodman, but we do know that he brings the drama with him wherever he goes. One example of this drama is that time in 1996 when the worm decided to wear a wedding dress, announced that he was bisexual, and claimed to marry himself. He wore this wedding dress for the sole purpose of promoting his memoir, Bad As I Wanna Be. We believe the worm got inspired by Howard Stern, who had done a similar thing for the promotion of the book. His promotion campaign worked and worked real fine. Thousands of people just came to watch him. The news made it to international TV, and Rodman's memoir became a New York Times bestseller as well. Rodman, in his memoir, explained his cross-dressing habit, saying he used to cross-dress even as a kid as he grew up among more women than men. He also mentioned that cross-dressing was just a gradual thing for him, as it progressed from wearing earrings and painting nails to skinny leather shorts and halter tops. He believes that whenever he cross-dresses, he is just showing all the hidden sides of his own self. The former former NBA star never felt shy about cross-dressing and openly accepted it. He even parodied his own 1996 moment for the promotion of his biopic, 30 for 30. While talking about the past event, he said it was just the beginning for the rock star Dennis Rodman. When the basketball court became a boxing ring for Dennis Rodman. Back in 1997, Rodman got confused and thought the basketball court was some kind of boxing ring and kicked a seated cameraman in his groin. No, not the stomach, right in the groin. During a game between the Minnesota Timberwolves and Chicago Bulls, Dennis Rodman and Kevin Garnett tussled with each other for the ball. While trying to get the ball, Rodman lost his balance and fell outside the court where the media was seated. While Rodman was trying to get up and recollect himself, Eugene Amos, the cameraman, turned his camera towards the NBA star. In a matter of seconds, Rodman got up and kicked Amos in his groin area. Everyone on the basketball court saw Amos bear extreme pain as he was taken to the hospital. The aftermath of Rodman's action followed, and Eugene Amos filed a lawsuit against the worm for the intent of assault. According to experts, if Rodman was found guilty, he would have been charged for fifth-degree assault as well as jail time. But lucky for Rodman, as both parties agreed for an off-the-court settlement, Rodman had to pay a whopping $200,000 to Eugene Amos to drop the charges. After Rodman had paid the money to Amos, fans thought the matter had ended and it was a fresh start. However, soon NBA authorities stepped in and suspended Rodman for 11 games without pay. The league also fined him $25,000. According to some reports, Rodman also underwent counseling during his suspension. Dennis Rodman and Madonna were almost parents. Most of you might 
must know that Madonna and Rodman briefly dated in the 90s. What you might not know is that they almost had a baby together. In an interview, Rodman confessed that he and Madonna had discussed having a baby, but the story isn't that simple, and it's a little cringy. Rodman said that in the 90s, when he was dating Madonna, he got a call from Madonna while he was in Las Vegas gambling in a casino. According to Rodman, Madonna left a message for him saying she was ovulating. He further said that Madonna had also sent a G5 plane to pick him up. Rodman claims to have gone to Madonna that night and came back to the casino the same night while they held his table. The story doesn't end here. Rodman also let slip that Madonna offered him $20 million for getting her pregnant. However, the payday would come when the baby was born. Even with a $20 million offer, Rodman and Madonna never had a baby together. However, the Material Girl singer did have babies with film director Guy Ritchie and fellow actor Carlos Leon. She also adopted four children later in life. Was Madonna so obsessed with kids that she offered money to Rodman to get her pregnant, or did Rodman just make it up? The obsession theory seems true to us, as she wasn't satisfied with having her own kids, but she had to adopt four more to satisfy her motherhood. Rodman has some serious obsession with getting arrested. If someone puts 100 former NBA stars, including Rodman, in a room and asks us who is most likely to get arrested for literally any crime, we'd point at Dennis Rodman. We've got all the reasons to do so. Dennis's rap sheet has gone ridiculously down over the years for all the good reasons. The former NBA star has been arrested twice under domestic violence charges as well as drunken driving. He also got arrested for a domestic dispute, obstructing justice, and even had a complaint filed by his neighbors at his Newport Beach house for over 70 times. Rodman has proved to be the most notorious maverick in NBA history by getting involved in every possible illegal act except murder. From assault to drug addiction offenses, Rodman was always there to make headlines. There even came the point when everyone started thinking that the worm had some secret obsession with getting arrested. According to a report, Rodman himself had been arrested a total of a hundred times throughout his NBA career. Every other arrest may have had some good reason behind it, but Rodman being involved in domestic violence would never have any explanation as his behavior was just intolerable and completely unacceptable, and even his diehard fans questioned his actions after he got arrested for domestic violence in 2008 when his then-girlfriend called hotel security. With all these incidents explained, we now know the reason why Dennis Rodman got his other nickname, Dennis the Menace. He sure was a menace to the NBA and the people around him throughout his basketball career, and this characteristic never let him lose the spotlight either. We wonder if he enjoyed all this negative popularity, or everything just happened that way. Only Rodman can explain it to us. For now, this is all about Dennis Rodman. To enjoy more such videos, keep watching! Bye!